Welcome to another episode of Project Super 10. This happens to be the first episode of Project Super 10 filmed in the new shop since we've moved to Tennessee. I've done quite a bit to Project Super 10 since uh, the last time a lot of you guys have seen it. I did a video uh, showing a lot of the stuff that I did off camera, so if you haven't seen that, make sure to go check that video out. We're going to basically redo the entire front and rear suspension and also lower the truck a little bit more, looking for maybe another inch all the way around. So I don't think uh, I'm gonna do these as a how-to style video. It's just gonna be kind of a, you know, follow along and watch. It is a lot of stuff. Uh, like I said, it's the entire suspension. It's, you know, upper and lower control arms, inner and outer tie rods, center link, coils, shocks, leaf springs. So I think the first thing we're gonna start with is the rear suspension, or at least the rear bump stops. We're going to be removing the rubber bump stop and the metal part itself off of the frame and replacing it with a smaller bump stop. This is gonna help with suspension travel and it'll stop bottoming out. And you notice I say we, that's more than you know just me working on the truck and you guys following along and watching. I've got someone coming over that uh, offered help and uh, they wanna help me redo the suspension stuff on the truck. So he will be here in a little bit. Uh, I might try to grab a camera and run out when he gets here and bombard him with a camera for the first time, you know, the first minute he gets here, stick a camera in his face. I don't know, we'll see what happens. So anyway, again, rambling and rambling like I always do. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna finish my coffee over here and then I'm going to wait for our friend to get here and then we're gonna get into tearing this thing apart and hopefully lowering it and making it look a little bit better. So we uh, got most of the rear apart, and Judd here discovered an issue. Let me turn on some extra light so we can... Well, he was complaining about the paint on his wheels peeling off, and I think we found the culprit to it. Uh, the brake cylinder seals in here are completely shot. So we're moving along here. We've got back of the leaf spring undone. Of course, the shock is off and everything. But then we're up here at the front leaf spring bolt, and I've been told about this before that it runs into the tank right there. So I think our best bet is gonna be cut it off since I have more bolts. What do you think, Jed? Yeah, it's kind of fun that they put a nice little relief right here in the gas tank. They did. To, to make it look like you could get it out, but in reality, you couldn't. Just enough to make you mad. I knocked it out as far as I could and then chop it off, because now we only have like a bolt that's that, that long, which will fit inside that bushing really nicely. You know, I never would have thought of that. Ta-da. You pull it out as long as you can, that way it'll fit right inside of there and not interfere with the bracket on either side. Right about here is where the audio quit. So this is gonna be a reoccurring thing for the next few videos on Project Super 10 because I have over five hours of footage with no audio. So I went through and just decided that I would piece it together because otherwise it's gonna be me and Judd just kind of making hand gestures with no sound and I honestly can't remember exactly what we're talking about in every little segment here. So I figured I would just try to throw it together the best that I could and overlay some music that's not too annoying. And hopefully you guys still enjoy the video.
So here I'm showing some products from SuperClean. They reached out and wanted to know if I would give their products a try. So I'm just kind of unboxing them. I got like a wheel cleaner a degreaser and an aerosol degreaser. SuperClean is not paying me to say any of this. They sent it out and said, just give it a try and let us know what you think. So this is my honest opinion on the aerosol. I haven't tried the other products yet, but like I said, the aerosol I was really surprised with. So here I'm showing the results and talking about the super clean aerosol degreaser and cleaner. You basically just spray the stuff on and it foams up and then you can scrub it and just rinse it off with a hose. Uh, but if you don't want to bring a hose inside your garage to spray things off, uh, you know, you could use a water bottle like I showed there. And this stuff works amazing. It's been a long time since a product has actually surprised me. I haven't really had a chance to use the other stuff that they sent, but the aerosol cleaner that stuff works really, really well. It cleaned up all of these breaks and everything. I only used maybe an eighth of a can where I would have used probably three cans of brake parks cleaner. And the best part is the garage doesn't smell terrible. I'll try to get around to using the other products that they sent out. Like I said, I haven't tried those, but the aerosol spray stuff, I would really recommend that stuff. I'll leave a link in the description for Super Clean's website. Make sure to go check them out. Like I said, they're not paying me to say anything. They just sent me out this small little care package and told me to try it out and let them know what I think. I was at the local parts store and saw that they had a wheel coating is what it was called and then caliper paint. So I grabbed both, but I think I ended up using the caliper paint, just uh, hoping that it would have a little bit more resistance to brake dust and things like that. So I think that's it for this episode. We got all of the rear suspension done. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to stay tuned. We've got more coming. We're gonna do the front suspension and all the steering components and basically restoring all of that. And as I said before, these aren't gonna be, you know, like how-to style videos. I will get back into doing the how-to type videos, but this is just kind of a, you know, follow along and watch us tear this apart and rebuild it. Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, if you came across this and you're not one of my subscribers or you're new to the channel, make sure to go into my channel and check out a couple of videos. I've got all kinds of stuff in there, more than just Project Super 10. There's a whole bunch of different stuff. So make sure to check that out. If you find a video that you like, hit the like button. If you have something to say, leave it down in the comments. And if you find a couple videos that you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.